Thank you guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, here we go. Like I mentioned before, uh, I'm gonna be painting on uh, 2017 Indian Chief motorcycle, uh, two-tone. So let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna cover the gas, um, the gas hole. I'm gonna put some paper inside, then cover it with tape. That way the tape won't be flapping up and down. But um, the gas has been taken out. It's uh, dried up through the inside, so it's all good. I'll be taping all this up um, so that uh, none of these components uh, get painted. But um, I'll be using 400 on the DA on the flat uh, surface areas. Um, the rest, I'll be also using 400, and I'll be doing it by hand like something... Something like this I'll be doing by hand. It's a little part. I don't want to be uh, digging into the, the, the plastic. This is uh, plastic, so I don't, I don't want to be digging into the plastic with the DA. So uh, I got some other parts, but I got, uh, I got this right now. So let's get started, guys. For right now, I'm going to be covering these vent holes just for dust not to go in here. Uh, but I'll be covering the whole area, but for right now I'll be doing this. Uh, I'm not gonna be painting right now, so this will do good.
All right. Um, after DA the the gas tank with 400, I went ahead and scuffed it down with um, a red Scotch Brite. And um, after this, I have another type of Scotch Scotch Brite. It's going to be a gray one. It's a little lighter, so it's uh, like if you're sanding with 400. So I'll be scuffing it down again with that, and that'll be give me the perfect uh, surface finish for the um, for the sealer that's coming up next. Uh, um, some people were asking me if the this was a decal or painted on. This uh, is actually a decal. The thing is that it's been put underneath the clear coat, so you can you can't even tell that it's there which is good because all you need to do once I sanded the clear coat it smoothed everything out and I don't have to to take it off so this is a decal it is underneath the clear coat so I sanded it down and it's smooth you can't even tell that that thing's there so that's good to go um, like I said all I need to do right now is uh, scuff it down with the gray scotch bright and uh, the tank will be ready all right, here it is. This is the gray scotch bright. It's the same thing as the red scotch bright. The only difference is it's a little, a little, uh, it's not too coarse. It's a little finer. So the, the sand scratches that the red scotch bright left, it's going to eliminate. And after you do it with a gray scotch bright, uh, the area is good to go for, for a base. In this case, I'm going to put sealer on it first, but uh, after the gray scotch bright, it's good to go. All right, guys, I did the same process on uh, this piece where the key ignition is. I did the same process. I sanded it with the DA with 400 as much as possible and then used the red scotch bright. And after the red one, I used the gray scotch bright. And this piece ready to go.
Okay, guys, um, real quick tip. When you're going to paint, the, all this is plastic. When you're going to paint plastic, just scuff it down either with a gray scotch bright or the red scotch bright. Make sure everything's dull. Everything uh, that's going to be painted has to be sanded. Uh, after this, I still need to sand these little pieces, but after this, uh, you add some adhesion promoter. If uh, you just paint it like that, even though you sanded it, it's just going to peel off. So you need to add a adhesion promoter. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. But um, just for right now, just scuff it down. Whatever whatever is plastic or, uh, or it's going to delaminate. So just scuff it down, guys. All right. Uh, we're in the stage right now of uh, doing some uh, wax and grease remover. Um, everything is set up. I just need to clean all the sanding residue of, uh, of everything. After this, I'll be, I'll be adding, um, some, uh, adhesion promoter. Uh, there's a lot of plastic parts here that, uh, need that. Even the metal parts, you can actually add the adhesion promoter on the metal parts like the gas tank, the fenders, and all that, but I don't know. I'll, I'll see if uh, I'm going to be doing that. More than likely, I'll be doing it. Uh, it just gives it a little bit more of a, a grip on the paint. Well, the sealer that's coming up next. So let me do that, and uh, let me show you how I do it.
Guys, after this, I'll be using some adhesion promoter from uh, Bulldog. So here we go. All right, guys, after using the adhesion promoter, um, I added one coat to everything. I'm going to let it set for 10 minutes right now before I uh, start spraying another coat. Two coats will be good. So um, let me set this for 10 minutes, and uh, I'll be spraying another one. I'm not going to show you the other spraying process, but... Um, it's the same thing, just uh, spray a mist coat about 10 inches away. And uh, after that, let it set for about 20 minutes. Then you can start shooting your, your sealer or your base coat. But I'm gonna be shooting sealer over all the black parts right now. So uh, let me do that right now. All right, on this paint job, I'll be using the Welcome Genesi Carbonio 360. Um, I'm using the the base gun, the HTE base. I uh, couldn't show you the spraying process on that uh, Taurus that I did, that I also sprayed with this gun. So I'll be showing you how it sprays, how it performs, and uh, how uh, versatile it is. So. Uh, this is the gun I'll be using for the clear. I'll be using the same one, but the HTE clear. So um, I'll be shooting the sealer right now with this and uh, you'll see how it sprays.
All right, guys, um, I already sprayed the sealer. All you need to do on the sealer is just one pass. It doesn't uh, need to be two or three passes. Just one pass will cover it. Um, after this, use a tack cloth. Just uh, let, let the sealer set for, for about 10, 20 minutes. Um, after that, use a tack cloth and uh, just wipe it down. Just take any little um, residue from the from the sealer and all that. So after the sealer, just start shooting your your base. So that's what I'm gonna do right now.
thread right here. Uh, it's gonna be put in the pearl. Um, as you can see, the bike is white right now. Well, the parts that I'm gonna be painting white are white. Um, I put three coats of uh, base, base white. So now I'll be adding the pearl on the white. That's why it's called a three stage uh, process. But this is the pearl. Well, not right now, but let me mix it up. Let me mix it up and I'll come back to you. All right, this is a pearl right here. Um, this is what's next. After, after the pearl has been applied, you can just top it off with a clear coat. The pearl, it depends how many coats you want to put on to get the different effects. So I'm gonna just spray ones See how it looks, spray it again, and uh, just go like that. See when I'm uh, comfortable with the, the amount of pearl that I put. Um, let me stir it up real good, and I'll start shooting it. All right, guys, before I start shooting um, the pearl, you want to shoot it in an even pattern. That way you don't overlap a lot, too much pearl in one area. But uh, shoot it in an even pattern and uh, shoot it a little bit farther than what you normally shoot the, the base color. So let me show you how.
All right, guys, here we go. The pearl has been added. Let me see if I can get you a little glimpse of the pearl. Uh, I don't know if it's picking it up, but um, the pearl has been added. I just put one coat, one uh, smooth coat of pearl. I don't want to add too much, guys, because it'll change the color of the of the white. So with one um, one coat of pearl, that'll be sufficient. That'll be enough. So um, right now, guys, I'll be shooting the clear. Like I said, guys, this is a clear I'm gonna be using. It's a wet, wet plus. It's a high solid clear. So um, I'm gonna be using a slow activator. Um, it's about 90 degrees here where I'm at right now. So. Uh, I don't want it to dry too, uh, too too quick so let me mix it up and start shooting hey guys I don't know if you can hear me but on the clear I'll be spraying at 35 psi all right guys I ran out of battery during the clear coat spray but um, tell you one thing that clear coat hands down it's one of the best clears that I have used the wet wet plus guys can't go wrong this is the first coat of clear and wow it is it is it is already like glass so guys uh, I do recommend that clear guys I do recommend that clear um, I'm gonna put probably one or two more coats of clear guys um, this is just the the bottom of the of the color that i'm going to be spraying it's going to be a two-tone guys so the majority of the bike it's going to be black uh pearl black so all the like right here all this portion right here is going to be black um so i need to re i need to resand the whole bike again and i don't want to add too little clear that when i sand it it's going to be i'm going to just burn through the, the clear and go straight to the pearl and the white. So this, probably I'll just shoot three because these two parts, the fenders, are gonna stay that uh, that color. I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be adding black on this top of the fenders, but I'll just cover this and spray it th like that. This is gonna be white with pearl this is going to be white with pearl so several little things are going to be um with uh with pearl only just a white and pearl so i don't know if you can hear my my sandals guys it's all sticky but the saddlebags the majority of the saddlebags are going to be black i painted the whole thing white because it's a lot easier for me not to get lines and all that on the on the design so um, that's the reason I painted most of the stuff like these are gonna be all black several little things are gonna be white so you'll see the process guys so just bear with me guys let me shoot two more coats I'm not gonna show them how I'm spraying the the, the clear oh by the way guys I'm using the other gun I'm using the 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 clear gun, the HTE clear. So this is the one with a white ring around it. So it it is it shoots awesome. This gun is is wow. It is shoots like really good. It laid it down like glass. Um, let me continue shooting those uh, two other coats of clear guys, and uh, I'll I'll get you. You know what? Let me show you how to how how it shoots, guys. Because I ran out of battery halfway, so let me show you how it shoots. One more coat of clear the whole entire uh, bike, and then I'll just do the other one, uh, not on camera. So let me put this down and let me start shooting it, so you can uh, so you can see it.
All right, guys. This is how it looks after three coats of clear. Uh, I don't know if you can appreciate the pearl and the smoothness of the clear. But, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So far, that's it for this portion of the bike. I'm going to let it sit for two, three days before I start uh, sanding it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to let it sit for two, three days. After, after that, I'll start sanding it and um, covering it up so I can uh, paint the, the pearl black. So let me continue. All right, guys, uh, like I said, I'm going to let this sit for two days before I can start sanding. Um, this, this video is going to be in two parts. Uh, I don't want to make it too, too long. And then it, it'll be just uh, too much. So I'll, um, I'll do it in two parts. This is going to be the first part, how this, uh, the pearl was sprayed. Second part is going to be the one that uh, I do all the outlining, what's going to be black, what's going to be left at the pearl, and all that, guys. So um, uh, just look out for the other video, guys. It's coming up. Uh, it's still working on the, on the bike, so it's coming up.